Hello Aries and welcome to your part two of your weekly reading. If you want to see part one, it will be pinned in the uh, comments below. Uh, normally we do uh, some pull some clarification cards on the uh, cards that are going through. We try to mix it up for a bit, trying to sort of uh, try things a little bit different and introduce you to the astro flower a little bit more and see how that can affect your life on a daily basis according to the weather or the space weather that's going on around us, the vibrational weather, so how the sun is being kicking off over the past uh, week and during this week as well. We've already had some M flares off the sun, one of them out the back, uh, so it's not coming in the direction of the Earth, but it's coming in the it's going in the direction of Jupiter and Neptune. So we might be able to get an update on that later on in the week. Uh, and see how it's been affecting your elements because it's going to affect the vibration therefore the elements and the qualities that are within your sign my sign everybody's sign um, and see how it influences or sort of gives it a bit of nuance to the cards from the weekly readings so we did an energy update on uh, cymatic tv if you want to go and see that there is a li uh, link in the description below to the cymatic uh, tv channel um, so yes, let's get right into it. Here's your um, here's your uh, flower and your card. So the main elements that have been affected by the solar activity this week is in a, I would say in a negative sense, would be water and earth. It can be a good and positive side to anything because it's a yin and the yang. There is no real negative. But basically for your water, the emotional sides, that's going to sort of make it a little bit flatter, the emotions. So you're going to be less uh, triggered, let's say. People are going to be less triggered. But if you do get triggered by life uh, emotionally, uh, it's going to turn to steam very quickly. And it's going to make, uh, make for a very feisty bit. So I wouldn't really engage too much in the way of spirit uh, or emotional uh, side, if I was you. Uh, just be a little bit wary of that. On the earth side, uh, the earth elements is we've had, uh, the earth has been um, much more sort of um, compact, let's put it that way. It's a little bit more rigid, I think, within the earth uh, vibration uh, that's been coming through. And you have a bit of earth running through you, like you do have that water running through the middle of you as well. So this is where that strength card is going to come into action, really. Uh, for the positive sides, it's going to be that fire and uh, air that's going to be affected. Now, fire <laughs> is your thing. Yeah, you are a pure fire sign and you even have fire running up through the center of you, which is rare in most signs, only usually happens for the pure signs, which is Aries, Libra, Virgo and Pisces. But um, yeah, so it's uh, that fire that's going through will make it very clear, passionate uh, energy, very vibrant and lively be really good for you 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 should be feeling good uh although you're coming into just coming up to your birthday uh so in the uh, the airy season starts just at the end of this week um so you're coming into that last month of your autumn and it looks like it's it's like your year has kicked off early there might be a, quite a bit of pressure coming in from the earth so it's going to rely on that strength and that judgment card really uh, at this uh, end of this given week. And there is particularities because of that. Uh, with the strength card, above the strength card, you have that combination of earth and water within your sign. And if those two elements are being affected and it's being even more compact, compacted, the earth, it's going to make things um, a little bit sort of one thing going into the other without any real stopping it may seem a little relentless uh if you if you don't put up your healthy boundaries and this is where the guides are trying to help you on the left hand side on that uh, with the nine of wands on the top left so you need those healthy boundaries certainly within the workplace and i think that's where the strength card really plays its plays its part because it's linking the material life and the spiritual life and on the material front, 
Uh, obviously, in your lower petals, you've got the cardinal water that's diminished slightly. Therefore, the cardinal fire will come up, which will breed nicely into working with partners. Um, I'm talking sort of work partners, as it were, working with colleagues, uh, also doing your business uh, or creating, uh, you know, buying a house and stuff like that. All of that is sort of cresting at the moment in this week. And that may apply a little bit too much pressure to you in life. And if you, if you, you know, if you rely on that, um, that eight of pentacles, uh, flowing into the queen of pentacles, it's really beautiful for you. It's setting up this week here is all about setting up from when your birthday is coming up. Um, so it's putting into place work ethics and stuff like that, which will, actually benefit you in the long run because on your uh, spiritual side on the other side of that um, strength card you have the ace of cups and the knight of cups so it's talking about going on a journey and presenting and just diving head first into the emotional or spiritual side of life and it's going to start moving quickly certainly once we start moving into the season of Aries because the elements will be playing a lot more to your favor uh, generally, that's because of the time of year. So the chariots are trying to, you know, your guides are trying to bring this in quickly at the same time. So having those healthy boundaries on your work side so you're not swamped will make you, give you that realisation and that space because of the earth and the water under, uh, between the uh, strength card and the judgment cards is diminished. Therefore, it will give you a bit of space to realise how can I best get a harmony between my work and my play, basically, uh, with love and or, you know, or activities or pleasures and stuff like that. It's, uh, it's definitely, um, you know, it's definitely, um, it's, it's a moment of putting those things into place and it's, it's going to come in, it's coming in quickly and, and it's, going to affect uh, your material side because that's going to stay constant uh, over this uh, the rest of this coming week as things get put into place and you're ready to sort of start off directly after your birthday as it were. So I think the most important cards that are going to be playing into you will be that nine of wands and that intuition card and the judgment card. If that's all based upon uh, that strength of knowing where you come from and where you're going, then life should be very interesting at the end of this week and very bubbly for you. So um, there you go, Aries. I hope you did enjoy that. Uh, I hope that gave you a bit more sort of clarification on uh, your week and how you should be ending it or what you should be playing with a lot more uh, within your vibrations. Uh, yeah. So once you've clicked the bell to subscribe and uh, the, uh, the the subscribe and the and the bell thing, oh, I've just done so many of these today. It's been quite mad. Um, then you know uh, you'll get notifications on the next videos that'll be coming out. We're also doing some other stuff about the new paradigm, which should be on this channel. You'll also see it on Cymatic TV. So I will speak to you soon. And in the meantime, don't forget life should be fun. So please do enjoy. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm.